Hey guys, what's up? Resin86 here bringing you a new replay, this time in my all-time favorite heavy tank in the game, the IS-3. I'm playing here with a couple of buddies of mine, Engine95, whom you should remember from previous videos I made a couple of years ago. If you don't, that means you haven't watched them, so go watch them now. And another good friend of mine, 2001WS6, however, I'm not going to be saying that every single time I mention his name, so I'm just going to call him Bob. So now, we move into G2, my favorite spot when starting from the South Onansk and hope to get a few customers here. And lo and behold, we get a Yag Panther too. Yummy. Now we push up towards the building since we're spotted so that we don't take a shot into the front. Luckily, we bounce a shot from the GP2 and put another one into him. Now he's down to 420 hit points and we've lost none. So now, is he gonna poke out again? Is he gonna poke out? He's gonna poke out again. So we punish him for his hubris. A Cromwell pops out, tries to take a shot at our front, however, that's obviously never going to pen. So, we position ourselves just in case he decides to pop out again, however, he doesn't take the bait. Now, Engine, who's down to K1, notices an IS-3 pushing up from the, from the one line, and we have to protect our friends on the F line. So, put a shot into him, however, we also take a shot from him. So now, Engine puts a good round into him now. And since our reload is going to be a little bit faster than this since we fired first, we push out to take the shot, however it bounces. Engine takes out the IS-3, but now we have to dance the Macarena with this Cromwell. We reload, however we miss our first shot. Luckily the Cromwell is still bouncing, but if I want to take him out, I need him to sit still, so I ram his front drive wheel. However, it doesn't take out his tracks. And our next shot bounces off the side of his turret. Now, the whole idea is to keep our front towards him and lure him out so that Engine can take a shot into him from behind. And we manage to finish him off after this shot is taken. Now, the T34-3 is going to take out this T32 here in a second. And that leaves us to engage this Panther 88. We auto-aim and take a shot at him, however it's a low roll. He gets a good shot into us, but I'm assuming we took out his ammo rack because now he's trying to run away. So we reload, put a shot into his ass, leave him on 23 hit points, which is more, which is less, actually, not technically more than enough, for Engine to take him out. Now we are being capped, however the T-34-3 and the T-32 are going to take care of that, so we're free to engage this Chiri with Engine. Engine puts a good shot into him, and we're unfortunately tracked when we try to ram him. So we reload, unfortunately get a low roll, leaving him on 62 hit points and Engine finishes him off before he fires his third shot at him. However, now, the T-34 takes out Engine, so now Bob and I are really, really mad, and we punish him, so that we can feel better later. I try to facehug the T-34 so that he can't get a shot into my upper glacis, however, he does manage to do that, and we just take him out afterwards. So that is 4,000 damage, in less than four and a half minutes, less than three and a half minutes actually, of the game. So now, this is pretty much over, we're not going to get any more shots in, this T-54 is going to die in a minute, so let's just go into the battle results. Alright guys, as you can see we got a first class mastery badge, and a steel wall and a high caliber for our 4000 damage as well as 1800 XP, 58,000 credits with an actual income of 35. We fired 14 shots, 13 hit, 11 penetrated for a total damage of 4,083 like I said before. We took 15 hits, 3 penetrated, 12 bounced, mostly from that Cromwell that we were dancing Macarena with, for a total damage blocked by armor of 1,970, almost 2,000. So, I uh, have a couple of announcements to make. Um, first of all, Engine has started streaming again. He streams from 6 p.m. Central Time up till like 9, 9.30 from Monday to Friday. Monday to Thursday is World of Tanks, and on Friday it's War Thunder. He might also be doing a few creative streams of uh, where he makes skins for War Thunder tanks. He has quite a few skins. I'll, uh, I'll put the information down below in the description. As well as Journeyman, 
Journeyman has also started streaming. Uh, he streamed. He started streaming a while back, actually. Uh, he does World of Tanks mostly, a few other games here and there, and um, he also does creative streams, where he displays his art, which is actually extremely good. It's really good. I suggest you check him out. Um, I'll try to. I'll put the the information down in the description below as well. Now, as far as the channel goes, I know I've been gone for a couple of years. Um, I've been doing my thing, actually. I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing for the future. And uh, it looks pretty good right now, at least theoretically. So, I am going to start posting up videos every Tuesday and Friday for now. And if everything goes well, and if I have the time and everything, I'll see about increasing that to three times a week, maybe Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm not sure we'll jump that obstacle when we get to it. I know that's not the way to say it, but that nah, doesn't matter. So thanks, guys, for uh, tuning in. Uh, I hope you liked the, the replay. I hope you liked the video. And uh, click the Like button if you liked it. If not, click the Dislike button. Leave a comment. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.